What's up guys, Molecular Jeff with Molecular Shave here, and we're doing a nice shave today. Brought to you mostly by PAA products. We're going to be using the beach. It's been cold here the last few days, well not cold, but like in the 60s, the last few days here in Michigan. And today's going to be the first warm day, so I'm very excited to use the beach. We soaked a towel with some of this right here. We're doing a cold shave. We got the beach pressed into our frozen scuttle. We're going to be using the green ray with the select. And I wanted to talk about the select real quick. All right. So people keep saying it's like semi-adjustable, kind of adjustable. But look at that. Let me get this into focus for you. You can see that gap there, and then you twist it, and the gap increases, making the razor more aggressive. And you can get up to a half turn. Most people use it by turning a thing, but I like to go like this and grab the head and go ahead and give myself that half turn, and then I bring it back just a little bit. And that seems to be good for me. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build up this lather, I believe. Get a little water in there. How's everybody doing today on this nice day? Here, getting towards the end of June. Weather is pretty good here, anyway. <laughs> Feel sorry for some of you guys in, say, Arizona, like Doug. And this is the Beach in CK1 formula. In case anybody was wondering what I had going on, it's CK1 Beach. And this Savannah scuttle here is frozen for a nice cold shave on this nice warm 80 degree Michigan day. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Takes me a little longer to build a lather than some people, but you know, um, that doesn't necessarily bother me. <laughs> Got a nice lather. And that's really what matters to me more than anything. So we're going ahead and use this rag here that has been soaked. We're gonna go ahead and wipe up the face. We're not doing a head shave, I got a head tattoo not too long ago, so we're waiting on that. But, as you can see, we got probably four or five days worth of growth on there. Maybe even more. We're going to see how this razor competes with that. We're going to put on a nice amount of pre-shave. Being the cube. In my personal opinion, it really does add a nice good bit of slick to your shave. So, to any of the naysayers, I say nay to them because the cube is an amazing product. Some extra moisture. Alright. We'll be ready to rock and roll.
So while I got you here, we're going to talk about the beach. I'm from Florida, born and raised in the old Sunshine State. And the very first time I smelled the beach, it put me right back to a point in my life where I was at Clearwater Beach with my father. He had just gotten me my very first ever frozen virgin pina colada. And he was like, son, you gotta try this. You know, and then my mom had put Some of that 90s coconut topper tone on my nose. Big, thick, white. You know, and then I went and I sat down under the pirate ship that's on the beach there in Clearwater, Florida. And uh, took a sip off of this frozen tropical beverage that I had never experienced before. And it's just one of those moments that you'll remember for your whole life. And the way that the beach smells just brings me right back there because it smells like sunscreen. Don't get me wrong. It has that copper tone coconut smell in a good way. But it also smells like sitting on the beach listening to the waves roll in uh, you know it smells like the heat coming off the sand smells like you know waiting in line for that ice cream truck uh, it's really good man um, if you're looking for a summer scent uh, that'll bring you right back to your childhood. I really highly suggest the beach. Um, you know, obviously, it's not going to have the same effect for everybody. Um, but if you're someone like me, grew up by the beach, drinking tropical beverages, that are frozen, this is for you, man. Uh, the splash even has a light bit of menthol in it. Not like super heavy on it or anything, but there's some menthol in there, man. And uh, it just really adds to the whole thing. Because like I said, to me, it reminds me of that memory with my parents at the beach. Um, and I have since lost my mother, so anything that could bring me back to those times is greatly appreciated. And thanks, Doug, because uh, it's almost like you designed this scent for me. And I know I said this on some of the groups and stuff, but I haven't made a video yet because I haven't been able to shave. Since the soap came in. And, uh, it's great, man. It really, really is a fantastic soap. And splash, and just scent. In general. 
Now, I do have to say, this is a CK1 because I, you know, it's sort of a novelty scent. Um, and there's a slight difference between the CK1 and the CK6. There is. Uh, I prefer CK6. It's a little more, I don't know how to say, like, unctuous, maybe, on the skin. Um, I, I don't want to say it's any slicker. I just think it has a little bit better post-shave feel and just feel on your face in general. Not that it's a better soap or that it's slicker, but it's just a little better. That's my opinion. Cross the grain. Alright, now, now that we've talked about the beach and the scent that we're using, Now we're going to go into talking about some hardware. We're using the Ascension Select. Now, I've never used any of the other Ascensions. Um, but i got to say, this is an awesome razor. It's a... Uh, Super effective without being too aggressive. It gets a super good shave, in my opinion. We'll see when I'm done how I truly feel about that. So far, so good. One of my you know, other than the adjustment that I showed you guys earlier. One of my absolute favorite things about this particular razor is the amount of water that it holds. You rinse it and then you bring it back to your face and it holds just this really nice amount of water. Um, that just helps it glide through your shave. Uh, better than any other razor that I've ever used. Uh, you know, I got a Merker open comb too, which that's the whole thing with open combs is they they glide better or whatever. Uh, but this thing, man, I'm talking like smooth sailing, brings up just this nice little drip of water with it every time. Uh, it ends up giving you a really nice shave, uh, especially for the price point. Uh, you can't beat it, period. Like, I, you tell me a better $44 razor for all around everyday shaving, uh, and I'll buy it, and I'll test it out, and I'll let you know my opinion on it, you know? We'll see how that goes. We'll stack them up. Put them right next to each other. So you send me a message about that and we'll see where it goes. Now, I am going to get a fat boy. I got a lead on a $20 fat boy. Uh, and the mechanics are good. The twist is good. 
Um, the issue is that the inside mechanics kind of pop out of the bottom, you know? Uh, and I thought that was a bigger deal when I heard about it, but hopefully it's still there. By the way, I'm using these today, and this has been one of my favorites so far. Enjoying this blade a lot. I haven't had any weepers, but I haven't gone against the grain yet. We're going to do that now, and let's see how this goes. So far, so good, man. And again, this is the twist. I'll show you my uh, adjustment again. Let's go fully tight. Fully tight, right? So hold your head. Halfway turn is about as far as they suggest going. And then I just kink it back just a little bit there. Have you guys done your shave maps yet? I did mine not too long ago, found out I'm weird. Because this is against the grain for this area. but not this area. <laughs> All right. Standard three pass. Let's check the results. Drop the old glasses on the ground there. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Not hearing a lot of feedback from that old towel there. I can tell you that. Quick little pass on my face part. 
because I got a little extra soap. And it just feels so good. Ooh wee. All right, here we go. Yeah, not too bad. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Aha. Aha. All right, so. Give it a wipe. I'm gonna grab you. Hey, bring you with me. So we're gonna pull out our little buddy here. And by little buddy, I'll show you in a second. By little buddy, we mean this little guy, the alum. Nice cold. Nothing on the face. Feeling good. Little sting under the chin, but we had a lot of growth. So, love this guy. It can dry out, though, so be very careful with it. I rinse off. I always rinse after I alum. Personal opinion, you don't have to. Oh, Dougie, don't. And uh, before this is over, I wanted to do a shout out to another channel. I'll tag him in the description below. I just want to say thank you to Subi Shades, one of my favorite channels. He does some of the coolest stuff. Uh, He does real cool stuff on top of doing cool stuff. He likes to push things to the edge and irritate people <laughs> with his non-standard shaving techniques. And I love it. Shout out to you, Subi. All brothers unite. All right, here we go. I don't know why people have problems with this. Super simple. And one thing I'm not going to show you is I'm going to use some PAA Mysterium Serum Mentholated Balm here in a minute. But that's it for the shave today, guys. Uh, again, super great shave using the beach and the Ascension Select. With the Rapira Platinum. Great combo. Try it out, guys. And remember, we love you. Hope you have a great day. Molecular Shave with Molecular Jeff.